Hello and welcome to the video. My name is David Pushkarik. I'm a Senior Technical Support Analyst for the BMC Workload Automation Group. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the Control O Auto Edit operand called percent percent dollar sign parse in a Control O rule to extract a variable length character string from a message presented to Syslog. In order to present the messages to Syslog, we're going to go ahead and use the IOA test utility. The messages we've chosen are replicas of those that are actually produced by the IBM Health Checker facility. As with the real messages, the message IDs are identical. However, there is a variable length character string in each message that we're going to go ahead and extract. So let's go ahead and submit this job and then we'll go look at the rule. We're going to get into the IOA environment here. Your access method is going to be different than what you're seeing. We're going to go to the rule definition screen. We're going to select the table where the rule resides and we're going to select the rule. As you can see this is an on message rule that will be triggered upon the appearance of any message with an ID of HZS1234EZ. The rule will be triggered in mode log, which means that all activation messages and all auto edit resolutions will be written to the Control O automation log. Just for clarification, I went ahead and I copied the messages in here into the description field. It just makes it easier for me to write the rule. When triggered, this rule will first set a user variable called percent percent %A to be the value of a system variable called percent percent dollar sign %MSG. Percent percent dollar sign %MSG will resolve to the original text of the message primary line only. The next thing will be to set another user variable called percent percent %T to be used as the template to parse out the message. The contents of the template are a1, which resolves to the message ID and everything up to the left parentheses. Variable A2 will be everything from the left, left parentheses to the first comma. Variable A3 will be everything from the comma to the right parentheses. And variable A4 will be everything that's left. We're then going to set percent percent %B, another user variable, to invoke the operand percent percent dollar sign parse of message percent percent %A using the template found in percent percent %T. Now I've gone ahead and added a couple of other resolutions here just to show you what uh, these rule, these variables are going to look like. So let's go ahead and now go over to the Control O automation log and we'll see how this turned out. I'm going to go to the bottom and we'll work our way back up. And as we can see, here's the first of the messages that was produced. We trap the message, we invoke the template, we invoke parse, and now here's the words. So A1 resolve to the first words up to the parentheses, A2 resolve to anything that was between the parentheses and the comma. A3 resolved to our substring. And if we scroll down, we'll see that A4 was everything that was left. For the second message, we can again see the same resolutions occurred, only now we're extracting the very, a different length field from the same type of message. And we're done. This type of rule could be used in any number of different situations where you really don't need to go ahead and use substringing or if a field or a word in the rule is of a variable length and all you really want to get is that variable. So thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.